on this episode of System Integrators Weekly. iBuyPower and CyberPower are celebrating Independence Day with some sweet deals. NZXT Build is celebrating reverse sales and Build Redux is celebrating their inventory. And finally, we spin the great big wheel of names to find our winner. All that and more on this episode of System Integrators Weekly. Let's go, nerds. Hello, everyone. I'm Brea Thorne. Welcome to System Integrators Weekly, where we know that crypto is crashing. And if you are invested in crypto, I'm sorry. But for the rest of us, I'm not sorry because we're actually going to be able to buy GPUs in a while still because it's just one part of the problem that keeps us from buying GPU and building a custom system on our own. Now, for those of you that don't really care about custom computer building and just wanna get right to gaming, that's fine because there are two separate hobbies, custom PCs and gaming. You don't say someone who doesn't build their own PC isn't a true gamer because that's not, that's two different things, okay? If you just wanna game, Keep watching anyway, because that's what we're talking about. Getting you a gaming PC that's pre-built with that GPU that you need. However, for those of you who want custom PCs, you may want to wait if you're a builder because give it a few months because you know there's still the drought in Taiwan and uh, there's still just a, a silicon shortage and that's, that's, that's going to have to deal with all the supply issues that are going on. It, it's only part of the equation that crypto is crashing, but that means some GPUs are starting to become more available. If you live near a micro center, find out when they get their shipments because they will have some, okay? And micro center should have a reasonable price on them. So availability is getting better and pricing is slowly, slowly getting better. However, it's still going to be a long time before it's actually reasonable and a better value proposition to build your own PC. And I will stand by that point. Call me stubborn if you want to. I am not stubborn and nothing you can say will convince me otherwise. So what we're doing here is we're going to be going over several different system integrators to find out what they have in regards to GPU inventory, uh, expected lead times on GPUs they don't have, and any special deals they have. Because guess what? If you live in the States, uh, 4th of July is coming up in one week. That means they have early 4th of July specials. We're not doing the 4th of July special on 4th of July because by then the deals will be ending like the next day. Kind of like the mistake I made with Father's Day. Sorry about that. Several things before we move on. Uh, some of these are very important, so stick around. Uh, first off, if you watched last week's video, you know there was a giveaway hidden in there. And uh, if you look at the comments for that video, there sure were a lot of them saying, 2K, let's go. Boy, wasn't that weird. Well, as for those who watched till the end of the video, and uh, they know that I'm giving away a 45 minute one-on-one -on -one Discord call where I'm gonna do a consultation and help that person build the custom PC of their dreams and their budget. Uh, both are important. So watch till the end of the video because that's when the drawing is and uh, that's what I need people to watch too to get my viewer retention up because my videos are a bit long and YouTube likes viewer retention. Anyway, Next up, we got the important disclaimers that let all of this work. This is a recording I took on June 27th, 2021. Now, that means if you're watching this too far after that, a lot of this information is going to have changed. However, it may still be valuable to you to help you figure out what you will want if these parts that go out of stock come back into stock. Um, secondly, a lot of this is based on my opinion. My opinions have been formed, though, after many years in the IT industry and many more years as a custom PC building enthusiast and just someone who is obsessed with tech. I have a tech job. When I finish that tech job, I come home and I watch tech videos and read tech articles. That's just sort of what I immerse myself in. And now you reap all the benefits. So. Let's get right into it. And we're gonna start with, uh, traditionally, we start with iBuyPower and we're doing that today. Now, looking at their same day ready systems, which are the systems that ship in a few days are they're already built, so you cannot customize them, but that availability and quick shipping though is nice. Looking here, they only have three systems available right now. Now there's a decent range on price points on these, but not every price point will be hit. 
you're looking at actually a very good system for eight, 879, $880 doesn't always get you much in this market. As I keep saying, the true budget gaming PC is uh, missing right now. It's gone missing, it's on vacation, it will come back after the shortage is over. But this is as close to a budget gaming PC as you're gonna get that will actually give you reasonable gaming performance. We have an Intel Core i3 10105F CPU. Now that is a locked CPU that cannot be overclocked, which is fine because it comes with a B series motherboard that doesn't support that anyway. It has AC Wi-Fi, a GeForce GTX 1650 Super, and a single stick of eight gigs DDR4 2666 megahertz RAM. So lots of room to improve here. The 500 gig M.2 NVMe SSD is not a ton of space and you would need to upgrade your storage later. You wanna upgrade with another stick of RAM or I would actually just go with a pair of st eight gig sticks to get to 16 gigabytes of RAM with a faster speed on them. And that's cheap and easy to do. So room to grow here, room to improve, but $880 and shipped by Wednesday, June 30th, if you buy it today, the day that I put this video out and if it's later the shipping date will be later if it's available now that just around the two thousand dollar price point you have a system that is a, an amd platform amd ryzen 7 3700x b550m motherboard ac wi-fi included with a radeon rx 6700 xt it's a great graphics card it's uh, their mid-range offering from amd radeon and now i don't i'm not really a big fan of putting a um you know, a smaller motherboard in a larger case. And these cases for these two right here, the special promotion ones that are $880 and $1,950 come in the case that has so little airflow, it's an actual joke. Um, but yeah, all the airflow you get is gonna be right here. This little spot right there, this slot. That's it, that's all the airflow for the intake. A little more for exhaust, but still, you get my point. You'll wanna do a case migration and yes, uh, we have some stuff on the way to do a case migration how-to video in the next month or two. Uh, we're gonna try to make that the best production value that we can because uh, the details are important when you're migrating your parts from one case to another to get that airflow. Now, if you wanna drop all the money, you actually get something that comes in a high airflow case in the Lian Li Lancool 2 mesh, one of the best cases that iBuyPower carries. They don't always have this thing in stock. 11900KF, so it's an unlocked overclockable processor. So to match that, they put the fantastic ASUS ROG Strix Z590E gaming motherboard with Wi-Fi 6E, which is the latest and greatest Wi-Fi standard out there. And uh, Radeon RX 6900 XT overclocked 16 gig liquid cooled GPU. So this thing is an actual GPU with its own all-in-one liquid cooler and water block. This is a sweet system. If you're looking at about, if you're looking at over $4,000 for your system, you might be able to do better going with a custom build, but if you need it fast, you can't beat this. It's a few days, you get it. Now let's talk about what they have for custom systems. What you wanna look for here because there's some really cool deals kind of tucked away in these systems, okay? Uh, now, in order to get to this, what you wanna do is you wanna go to iBuyPower and then just click on the Independence Day sale and see what they have that pops up here. Uh, you're gonna have first your same day ready systems and there's, uh, this one's not in stock, although I guess they had it, but there's two of the systems that we just talked about. But down here, go ahead and just click on it in AMD system because you can then customize it to your heart's content. And this is where you get all the savings. So first off, get rid of this case, grab the Lancool 2 mesh. It is $51 more, yes, I know, but the airflow in this case is ridiculous. Very highly regarded by Gamers Nexus, which is who I go to for my case reviews. I don't buy all of these and test them. They do that and they do it very well. But what I really want to show you here is orange. Look for the orange. And right here, there's one of the best deals I've seen for a while. It's $50 off the Ryzen 7 5800X uh, processor, which is what I have. I love this processor. Eight cores, 16 threads, and it's very fast. Probably the best bang for your buck gaming processor and content creation processor on the market. Yeah. And it's only $59 more than the also great 5600X. 
So if you're not just gonna be gaming and you might be doing some streaming or video editing or whatever, click here, it's only $59 more. Now you'll notice if you switch to the Ryzen 5 5800X, it's gonna tell you, you need a bigger all-in-one liquid cooler. That's what they recommend. And that's what I recommend too. Hey, how about that? So you can go with the, uh, for only $29 more, get the 360 millimeter Castle 360EX. There you go. Now they give you 16 gigs of DDR4 3200 megahertz RAM. I always recommend the 3600 megahertz RAM for the Ryzen 5000 series processors. There's a whole lot of reasons why, well, mainly Infinity Fabric uh, synchronization. So just click on that and choose the RAM that you want. Um, if you want something that looks nicer than this generic one, something with a heat spreader, then you can go with, well, any one of these that you want. g Skill Ripjaws 5 is good, but if you want RGB, it costs you a little more. Now, on to the uh, more important stuff here, the GPUs. Now, they have in stock the Radeon RX 6700 XT for $50 off. Remember, like I said, look for that orange and $50 off the 1660 Super, but it is only $162 extra to go with the 3060. Now, 3060 and 3070 are four weeks extra lead time, which is estimated, meaning it could be less time than that or more time than that. And an extra two weeks lead time on the 30, 3070 Ti. Don't get that, even though it's two weeks less estimated time because that's a huge price jump for not that much performance from the 3070. And the 3080 is an extra four weeks lead time. Uh, if you want the 3080 Ti or 3090, then you're looking at no extra lead times, just like the 2060 and the 1660 Super and the 6700 XT. Um, now for the motherboards, look for the orange, like I was saying, the ROG Strix B550 gaming Wi-Fi with Wi-Fi 6 included is $20 off, but the MSI B550A Pro is getting a sale as well, where it gives you a free upgrade to the MSI Mag B550 Tomahawk. Excellent, excellent B550 motherboard. Uh, I would probably just stick to that or just you know click right here to get that extra performance out of that motherboard if you skip down here to your power supplies it's a generic power supply included with this one uh, but you'll notice that all of the thermal take tough power uh, grand rgb power supplies are on sale ten dollars off on each one then for your storage here this one's important right here i would suggest going to at least one terabyte for your primary boot drive okay and you want an m.2 drive for that if you pick the one terabyte western western digital blue sn550 you get a free upgrade to a one terabyte western digital black sn750 m.2 ssd uh it's for 65 dollars more than the 500 gig blue version so yeah do that there are many sales on the PCIe Gen 4 solid state drives. You can pick any one of these that you like, but it's only $42 more to go with the Aorus M.2 PCIe Gen 4 M.2 drive. Now, since we're looking at an AMD system uh, with the B550 motherboard and the 5000 series Ryzen processor, you can actually utilize that PCIe Gen 4 speed for read and write. So, you know, pick whichever one you like. Anyway, that's the main thing. Just look for the orange and you'll see what sales are on right now. So yeah, that's gonna do it for iBuyPower. Let's move on to CyberPower PC. They actually have two very good instant ship systems, meaning that these would come to you in just a few days. Uh, they're very similarly priced. There's a pretty stark difference here. This one for $1289 comes with the i5-11400F Intel processor, and the one for $1385 comes with the i7-11700F processor. The 11700F will net you better performance. It's not as, say, efficient as the 11400F, but you will get better gaming performance with it. Uh, both of them come with the RTX 2060 GPU, and they both have 16 gigs of 3000 megahertz RAM. They both have the B560M uh, ACMATX motherboard. Again, a small motherboard in a large case. M.2 PCIe SSD. So it's literally just a difference between getting the 11400F and the 11700F. But if you don't have that extra $100 on hand, the 11400F will serve you just fine. I would say go for this one though, if you can. Uh, now, looking at their 4th of July sales, there's actually quite a lot going on here for CyberPower PC. Um, yeah, now they'll tell you, oh, you gotta get these now, you gotta get these now, but they're early 4th of July sales. So these are gonna be going on for the entire week. Check in now and then to see what kind of deals you can get. Now, the, the, the smaller, more detailed 
uh, sales are going to be down here. Free upgrades to, you know, a brand name of RAM rather than getting the generic RAM. 40, an extra $40 instant off on the one terabyte Aorus PCIe Gen 4 SSD, kind of like on iBuyPower's uh, site. And just little deals here and there. So you can click on one of these, and I did that here. It was the uh, AMD 3070 Ti one, but because it was a 3070 Ti, I already made some changes to make it a more reasonable price uh, from over $3,000 down to $2,187. Now, what did I do for that? Well, I will show you. I switched the case over here to the Corsair 4000D Series Airflow Edition. Um, again, you may want some extra fans for that. You can actually get this really great set of six Fantex SK120 fans for only $54. That's a really good price on that. Um, but uh, yeah, take your pick, whichever ones you like the look of more, and that'll just kind of fill up your case with those RGB fans, the all one kind of fan. Uh, now, if you look at a 360 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler, that will come with three fans already. So you can just pick the three fan kit if you want. Now for them, they don't have any sales going on on the processor, okay? So we're on a 5600X right here and it's $146 more to go with the 5800X. You can see why I was excited about that deal on iBuyPower. Um, but yeah, we'll stick with 5600X here. That's how I brought the price down as much as I did. And then you just pick your 360 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler with the three standard fans, or you can choose to get some fans with lights on them, up to you. But with the three standard fans, it is only $30 more. Now moving down here, this one came with an ASUS Prime X570P ATX with RGB motherboard with Realtek LAN, yada yada. It does not come with Wi-Fi built in, but you can add Wi-Fi by putting a Wi-Fi card on there or just pick a motherboard that has Wi-Fi. And it'll tell you right here, look at this one with Wi-Fi, $27, there you go. It came with different RAM, but I switched it over, of course, to 3600 megahertz RAM, CL18. Beyond that, so here's what we've got for GPU availability here. It's actually quite good for CyberPower PC. And both sites had $50 instant off on the AMD Radeon RX 6700 XT. Don't know what's going on there. Maybe they're buying from the same supplier. Would not be surprised on that one, uh, but the other Radeon cards like the 6800 XT and 6900 XT and the non-XT variant of the 6800 um, have lead times. Four weeks lead time for the 6800 and two weeks lead times for both the 6800 XT and the 6900 XT. Now, when it comes to NVIDIA cards, don't get the, th the 1030, don't do that. Uh, especially because they're using the GDDR4 version of the 1030, not the GDDR5 version. Uh, they have the GTX 1650 in stock, the RTX 2060 in stock for $50 off, 3060 Ti in stock, the 3070 Ti in stock, the 3080 Ti in stock, and the 3090 in stock. So that's a lot of Ti's, a lot of them. Uh, but if you want the um, vanilla version of the 3060, it's an extra two weeks lead time. If you want the vanilla RTX 3070, that's an extra four weeks lead time. It's a very popular card. It's kind of the best sweet spot for performance, for content creation, for all of that. But if you want the 3060 Ti, which has is, is approaching the 3070 performance, um, they have that in stock, ready to go. So I picked it. And then they have $50 off on this Thermaltake Tough Power GF1 series, 750 watts. That is an early 4th of July sale. We go down to storage. I went ahead and picked out the best storage option that I saw because you, it came with the uh, this SSD and hard drive combo that was somewhere here. I skipped that and went down to the $40 instant off one gigabyte Aorus PCIe Gen 4 drive. Okay, it's $40 off for the 4th of July sale. And there's a early 4th of July deal, which says today only, but it said that last week too, or uh, Thursday on the stream. So I picked that. And um, also there's a deal where you get a two terabyte hard drive for $46. So that's four terabytes of storage in any of these pre-builds. When you're talking about your mass storage, your extra storage, you can get better performance for something like a Steam library or any game library or any media that you have on there if you go with an SSD instead of a spinning hard drive, okay? Uh, a solid state drive, by that I mean a SATA 3 SSD, a 2.5 inch SSD. Uh, now that will give you better performance for loading games, things like that, but it does not affect 
your frame rates and actual game performance, just load times mostly. So uh, that's something to consider and you can choose to get any of these on the list right here. But as you can see, they are more expensive. A two terabyte drive instead of being an extra $46 is, well, uh, an extra $214. Well, that does it for CyberPower PC. Let's uh, take a look at NZXT where things are going. They're going, kind of. It's been weird with NZXT and that's been in previous videos as well, but it's getting weirder. So first off, they're bragging about the H1 case being back in stock. I think those should stay in stock and not be purchased because there's still sort of a risk of fire there because they didn't really, go all out on fixing that riser cable that was causing fires before. So uh, we're skipping that, of course. Uh, so we're going to go to build a custom PC. I get a lot of people asking about the quick and easy pre-builds, okay? Asking about the starter series, the streaming PC, and the creator PC. Not so much from the creator PC, because once you get up to about $4,000, you can just customize a PC. You don't need to go with what NZXC says you should go with, okay? Yeah, okay, great. So we click here and click on the $2,000 one. And what's wrong with this one? What is wrong with, I mean, it's a 5600X and a GeForce RTX 3070. That's, that's a great setup, but you can't customize these. And how is that a problem? I mean, $2,000 is about the right price for 5600X and a 3070, right? Wrong, because this comes with a Gigabyte B450 motherboard, okay? So that is a B-series motherboard, like the B550 uh, versus the X570. Um, well, that's okay for a budget system, but it's uh, the last gen, it's previous gen hardware for a $2,000 system. Plus they went with 3200 megahertz RAM instead of the sweet spot for Ryzen 5000 series, 3,600 megahertz, uh, plus the power supply is a 650 watt bronze. If we were looking at a $1,200 system, the bronze power supply would be okay. We're looking at a $2,000 system, right? So they cut corners here. That's how they get you that 3070-5600X combo. But you can take $2,000 and build something better on their own website. Look at this right here. Don't let your streams be dreams. Okay, that's real catchy NZXT. I got another catchy one for you, okay? Don't let your PCs be feces. Gross. That was off the top of my head. I swear to God, this is what I was meant to do. <laughs> Make fun of NZXT. So I generally go AMD, yada yada, because it's they're still winning, okay? Um, Where's Alder Lake Intel? What you doing? Unexpected error has occurred. Is it really? Is it really unexpected? Is it unexpected at this point? NZXT, guys. <laughs> it gets better, guys. Check this out. Okay? I was so hoping this would still be here because of this. This, <laughs> this PC is recommended to come with the H510. That's what it comes with by default. But if you want to upgrade, guess what? The H510 Elite is on sale. Normally, plus $75 get the H510 Elite, but just for a limited time, you can get it for an additional $129. Wow, guys, that's a great sale. This is a big company now. How is this happening? Look, if you go to cooling, guess what? The Kraken X63 is on sale. Plus $70? No, that deal ain't right. That's not enough. We're giving you the great deal of going up to $119 additional. I mean, you've heard of like sales where it's like, oh, 20% off. No, how about 20% on? Is that what you would call that? I don't know. I didn't calculate percentages. Don't at me, all right? I was just giving you an example. It, okay, so the H510 Elite is a beautiful case, but it's not their best airflow case. It's still better than the H510. The best airflow you can get out of an NZXC case is gonna be the H710, which they have in stock in all three colors. Looks pretty great, actually, in the uh, red and black. $75 more, but better airflow all around the case. Definitely recommended if you're going NZXC build. The thing is the cooling pricing being wrong, uh, but the, the 5600X should be fine with the M22 120 millimeter AIO uh, because that's the one that you would want anyway. 
The 5800X is no longer available at the moment. They did add some uh, a new motherboard here with the ASUS ROG X570 Crosshair 8 Hero, parentheses, Wi-Fi, uh, but it is a an expensive motherboard. The uh, B550A Pro or the B550 Phantom Gaming 4 are fine. GPUs, their inventory on GPUs is quite good. Right here, this is the card you want if you're getting an NZXT build system, right there. And uh, power supplies. Um, 750 watt is totally fine for the 3070 system. There you go. That's uh, as long as you go with the 3600 megahertz RAM right here, uh, right there, and you get a little additional storage by maybe going with the uh, one terabyte drive here. Actually, if you can get the Evo Plus, it's 169 more, but it is better performance. I'd recommend that or go with the Fire Cuda 520 for the PCIe Gen 4 performance. I'd actually do that. It's only like $40 more than the uh, 970 Evo Plus. There you go. There's a build right there for NZXT build. Um, if you find that you're getting some thermal throttling on your 5600X, you can always just pull this uh, all in one liquid cooler out, the 120 millimeter one, and put in a 240 millimeter one or 280 if you get yourself an X63 that's not on a reverse sale. Okay, now I, I'm, I'm having trouble with Build Redux. The trouble is they've been extra awesome lately and it's kind of frustrating. Um, they, uh, they have a lot of inventory and their prices are very reasonable. Whenever I do a Thursday stream, which if you need one-on-one -on -one help with your custom gaming computer, show up at 8 p.m. on Thursdays at uh, twitch.tv slash Brayathorn. Oh, hey, there's a thing right there. Um, because you can get in line and uh, once I get to you, we're going to get you taken care of. Uh, I do a custom PC build for you and uh, based on your budget and the information that you provide so that it is tailored to your needs. But for some reason, it's just everyone has been sort of settling on the build Redux systems. They only take about three weeks to get to you. Uh, and that for a custom build these days is pretty good. Plus it comes in a case that is airflow focused. It comes with six fans and a push-pull configuration on a 240 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler. The cable management is excellent. The uh, looks of the case are very good and their options for customizing are good, though a slight bit limited. Uh, you can't choose your motherboard or power supply. Those two things are pretty essential, but I mean, who's gonna listen to some nobody YouTuber like me, right? Email build redux, tell them to talk to me. I can uh, figure this out for them. But yeah, so this system right here is a 3070 and a 5600X processor. Unfortunately, they're out of the 5800X, but the 5600X processor, this is a great, this is a fantastic gaming system. If you're looking to do 1440p, 144 hertz, this is it. This will knock that out of the park. Okay, memory, it's only 3200 megahertz RAM. You can't get that sweet spot. 3600 megahertz RAM here, you cannot choose what type of RAM they give you, just how much. So get the 16 gigs, and if you're gonna be doing content creation or streaming later on, you can always just upgrade to a 32 gig kit, 3600 megahertz uh, for, you know, 200, 300 bucks, something like that. Plus RAM is really easy to swap out. That would be something you would do down the road if you find that you need it. If you don't need it, this is fine right here. And a one terabyte, NVMe M.2 drive. You can add a hard drive to that for mass storage, though it's not fast mass storage. You can put whatever you want on there and it is a very small upgrading price of just under $50, about $49. So this right here is an amazing system. It takes about three weeks to get to you, has all those six fans and it's expandable. You can add more fans to that if you want. And it's a brand name fan. It's not some random thing or just a generic one. They're Cooler Master Master Fans, RGB. You can get those exact fans on, you know, Amazon or whatever. Uh, there have been a couple circumstances where the motherboard I.O., well, the, the input output on the back of the motherboard, that's, you know, that's where you plug everything on the back of your computer, hasn't perfectly aligned with the I.O. shield. Things can happen in manufacturing. I think there was a batch of TD500 cases where the motherboard tray is not quite aligned with the back of the case. So when they mount the motherboard, the IO isn't exactly aligned with that IO shield that pops in. So this is an easy fix. Get yourself a screwdriver, pull a few screws to be able to shift the motherboard over. 
that's all the motherboard screws. And don't lose any or drop any, okay? Just carefully remove them. Shift the motherboard over, pop out the IO shield, put the motherboard back. The IO shield is not absolutely necessary, especially because this system has five intake fans and one exhaust fan. That creates what we call positive pressure inside the system, positive air pressure. That means there's more air going in, being forced in than being forced out. So you're not gonna get dust just drifting in. It is gonna be actively pushed out. So you should be fine. It's on the back of the case. It really won't affect much. For those of you who come into the comments and say, I don't know anything about PCs. Well, if you're watched up to this point, now you do. You're on the right track. And if you subscribe, you're gonna find that there's gonna be other content here that's gonna help familiarize yourself with the PC that you spent all this money on. It's an investment. You should be able to customize these, upgrade them, replace parts if they go bad, or just transfer all the parts into another case if you want to for reasons of aesthetics or airflow, preferably for airflow first. So I'm being real sneaky about this. I'm helping you find your pre-built PC but I'm also going to be helping you learn more about them so you're more comfortable with the technology and you feel like you can do whatever needs to be done if anything happens later on the road or if you just want to upgrade it. It's yours and we're going to help you learn more about it. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell if you want to hear, you know, when I upload something. But yeah, just hitting subscribe is a huge way to boost this channel and things. I mean, since last Sunday when we hit 2000, we're already at 2,400. 400 people in a week is, thank you. Thank you for deciding that you wanna see more of our content. I appreciate it. So uh, who do I think wins out of all of these? Well, right now, I think iBuyPower is a very strong contender uh, just based on all of these little sales that they've got if you're gonna customize a PC, which I did here. And if you want, I can, have this link available if you want to have this system that runs 2198 that has a 5800x and a 3060. I have to say the overall winner is Build Redux. Build Redux, man, you guys just with all the different GPUs. I mean, seriously, looking at these graphics cards, uh, the fact that you can get a system with a 3080 in it for 2392 is in this current landscape, it's fantastic. It's very good. That's a very good price for a system with a 3080. I'd say this is a winner right here because basically you have a great system here with these other parts, with these other core components, and your budget would just tell you which of these graphics cards you could choose. If you want to go more budget oriented, you pick a 3060. They have it ready to go. It just takes about three weeks to get it, the custom built system to you, and that's 1847. If you need to go more, go more budget than that, you can, down to 1682 with a 1660, but I would say go for a 3060 at least. Try to get that extra scratch together if you can. It is only a little bit more to go to a 3060 Ti, and as you can see, they're just little steps up. The 3070 is a sweet spot for most people. Unless you plan on doing some 4K gaming, you really don't need a 3080, but it is a superior GPU. I would say a 3070 is adequate for almost everybody's needs. Now, in last week's video, we celebrated 2,000 subscribers. I'm still in shock that that has happened so quickly, considering a few months, a couple months ago, I was at 75 subscribers. Thank you guys. But the giveaway there was um, a free consultation, one-on-one uh, -on -one in a Discord call where I would help you directly to with no distractions, because on the streams, I get distracted a lot and it's chaotic. This is one on one. And for this kind of service, there's several YouTubers and people on Fiverr who will do this kind of thing for anywhere from 100 to $200. Some of them probably do it for cheaper. I don't, but I don't know. I mean, if you've been watching these, these, these videos, you already know whether you find me credible or not. And I don't do this at all, where I just sit and talk to someone one on one to give a consultation. I might consider doing that later to sort of help support the channel. But in this case, free of charge, and we're gonna get you the system you want. Uh, all you had to do was comment 2K let's go on last week's video uh, up to last night. So we got all the names all put together and it's quite a few. So it turned, this, this ship, it's about 86 people here. We're gonna go ahead and click to spin. And uh, let's see if your name is pulled. Let's go, everybody.
All right, Scott Terrell, you are the winner. So you are the winner of a 45 minute one-on-one -on -one consultation to get you set up with your custom gaming computer. Uh, no, I'm not buying it for you. I'm just helping you find exactly what's right for you. And just letting you know that that's not what that was. It's not free computer. I wish I could do that. Uh, but yeah, so what we'll do is I need you to contact me on Discord. Join the, the the link to join the Discord is going to be right there in the description. Join that and you'll see me there in the list of people who are on the Discord. Just uh, send me a message and we'll get this going. All right. Um, now, as for when we'll do it, I do work a full time job and I stream and I make YouTube videos. So we'll have to work that out to where we can our, our schedules can align and we'll get you all set. So congratulations to, to Scott Terrell. Let's move on to the comment of the week. Comment of the week was from Josh Bower. 2K, let's go. Love the channel. Thank you very much. For all those who are looking, everybody pay attention. This is this is important here. I bought an iBuy Power easy build with some upgrades on 526. The expected shipping date was Ju uh, July 22nd. Not only did I get texts once the build began, but I got texts stating the progress further than what was shown on the progress tracker. So the texts were more updated than the progress tracker on the site. I received the PC on June 18th, got the packing foam over the GPU without paying for it, had a great experience with iBuyPower. So this comment is super important to me because I like to get these follow-ups from you guys if you get a system, especially a system that I recommended. Now, I'm not sure that I recommended this for one for Josh or that Josh saw it for my videos, but this right here is feedback that sort of proves because i bought my system back in december it proves that uh, they're still the same way now as they were when i got mine that's going to wrap it up for this week's episode of system integrators weekly uh, i hope to see you guys on stream i'm going to be streaming tonight sunday nights i stream at 8 30 central and on thursday another pc assistant stream uh at 8 p.m central so get in early get in the queue because it does lo load up pretty quickly uh and i will see you guys then and until then take care